with your Tuesday tech tip. So the last couple weeks I've been using a Google app called DocHub and it allows you to make a PDF a writable document. So it's been great uh, saving tons of paper. Uh, my students no longer need their composition books um, for their DOLs in the morning when we uh, highlight and annotate a primary document for example or something in literature we just use this doc hub and it's been working great um, so let's get started so for example I have this PDF of an article that I want the students to read the first three paragraphs highlight and annotate the document so I have set this up in my Google Classroom and I'm going to tell them to open this greatness article and then I'm going to tell them to open it using their Doc Hub app. So then they're going to go open the document, go to the, I call it the snowman, open this article in a new window. And the first time your students use Doc Hub, uh, they're going to have to initiate it. So then they'll go to the open with window and they're going to choose connect more apps. And then they'll just go through the process. It will ask you what app you want to use are you looking for so you're gonna type in Doc Hub and it will automatically download it to your students computer and it's already been released by Ravi so it'll connect right through but in this case we've already done it so after they've done this process you only have to do it once then every time when you select open with you'll have the option so I'm just gonna pick the option here open with Doc Hub So it is opening it, loading my document. And here it is. And it has the toolbars up here telling us all our options. So I asked them to highlight. They're going to pick their highlighter tool and they're going to read, pick whatever it is they want to highlight. For example and then they're going to make an annotation so they're going to go back up here and pick the little comment window and they're going to annotate so let's write a little quick annotation and keep moving on. So it highlights and it annotates, which is perfect. Um, another thing I used it for, like I mentioned, was my DOL in the mornings. So again, no paper. And then they also have the examples to study from before the quiz. Whereas before, they might just write down the subject and the predicate from the sentence. But this way, they can have it to study with, have the complete sentence. And then we go over it in class. So I might say, underline the subject, highlight the predicate, and then when we correct it, they can either use the erase tool or um, they can use a different color highlighter so that they know that is the correct answer. But the trick is they need to remember and always consistently use the same colors. So at this time I'm going to use my writing tool and I'm going to circle, for example, my subject and underline my predicate, right? So then we would go through and do all that and then go back as a class and make directions, corrections, excuse me. So again, it's just a great tool to use to help save paper, no more composition books. Um, no more making copies of primary documents. They can just highlight and annotate right there on the document you want to use. I also used it for something as simple as we read a story from our literature book and then we had a think cloud that we opened up and wrote our thoughts about things as we were reading the text. So again, just a great tool to convert a PDF to a writable document. It's really easy to use for the students. Um, 
they're great at figuring out, out the tools and they've really enjoyed it and I've really enjoyed saving a lot of time at the copy machine. So that's it. If you have any questions, would like me to come help you uh, use this the first time in your classroom, I'm certainly open to do so. Just let me know. Thanks so much.